Believe it or not, you're about to watch the fourth race of this first series of the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday Night Racing. Already the fourth. I mean, time is just absolutely flying. Hi, I'm Ashley Love from T2B TV. Joining us from behind the camera this evening and every evening, our producer, Bruce Nairn. Now, you might be looking at the scores going, what the had happened last week? Well, there's a bunch of RETs and a bunch of DNFs because only the bravest knew the course and went around the correct mark while the rest of the fleet decided to turn early. So, <laughs> don't get too confused. Hopefully all the navigators out there tonight will be more on their game. First off the line, Perf Zero and the Far 30s. Velocity, Martin Roche, J111, was one of the few boats to sail the course correctly. So he is in the lead and winning the boat end. That was nice. Ramrod close on their heels with a full kite. That's extra points too, but it's not quite made. and the J35s all want the boat. Yelling and screaming has been going on for the last 10 seconds. And a J35, Aunt Jean, no surprise, is gonna win that battle. Hoist, 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 get those kites up. J105s are up next and they have a slightly different approach. They are spread out all over the line. They all have the same kind of kite. One thing that was definitely magnificent about the last start is that you have asymmetrical, symmetrical, long poles, full mast height kites, all different shapes trying to get off the starting line. This one's a little bit more relaxed. I just wouldn't call the J105 class relaxed. <laughs> That's true. Or a little bit easier to get off the line. Moving to the inner course, the Harbor 20s are about to begin, and Jim and Rachel Mead's Meteor have a three-point lead over Margaret Podlick, Peter Trogdon's Skimmer. That looks like it. I thought I saw about three boats over. I did hear the individual re recall flag go up. I think it's up to them to know if they were over, because I'm not hearing anything on the radio. On the left-hand side, Will Sutton and crew on Fuzzy Logic looking over their shoulders to decide when are we to lay light. It's Bill. He he's hits the edges. Did this last time they filmed that. That's right. He's looking really pretty good here, though. Point 
when the breeze comes out of the Severn River, it is so puffy, so connecting the dots will lead to a winner. Doing it the best so far, David Morrow on H2O. The two inner fleets intermix the Herrschaft 12 and a halfs and the Harbor 20s. That looks really cool. Tacking onto the starboard ley line, it's Puffin with Bell Cardi at the helm. 339 skimmer, a little overpowered, trying to take transom. Second round, 3-1-1. Oh, this is Skimmer, Margaret the Podlick and Peter Trotkin. on the outer course. The J30s are about to turn around their first mark. Shamrock and Ragdoll have windward advantage, but it is getting tight in there. Lots of lured, 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 lured calls. I got my money on Ragdoll. Who's, who's in the lead? Is no, Total Mayhem. They are leading the, the series so far, but they are in complete wind shadow right now. If boats didn't have their kite up already, this is when they should be putting them up because they're turning a slight left. It's kind of a hard left. Oh, Total Mayhem has a wrap on their spinnaker. They are around their forestay. Oh, Shamrock man. is what? trying to get their pull up. Insatiable taking, taking out Ragdoll. And I like Jaguar and, and Cannonball. They're just, you know, we'll just go right through the middle. The 105s have gone around their lured mark and are heading back up wind home. In the lead is going to be a big reveal when we can finally read the sail number. Wait for it. Too far to it is. 202. It's Thomas Carter and Arthur Libby's doghouse. They're in second for the series so far, only by two points, with a huge gap to third. 12 points. Now this is a race, Ashley. These two. Freedom trying to just hang on to it. Freedom has been having a fantastic year so far. Been really impressed. Oh, but last week they didn't go around the, the correct mark. But since neither of the rest of the fleet did, they, it didn't hurt too bad. Crash, got him pinned down. The Jeannot has is sporting a kite this evening. What kind of boat is that? A 349. A 349. And they have named the boat, for Wednesday Night Racing at least, Lazy Bear. Well, which, okay. it's a mispronunciation of where the Jeannot head office is in France. It's something like Les Hebres. Les Hebres? <laughs> uh, I can't. <laughs> Don't count on me to speak French. No, if you're speaking American, I don't understand. I'd call that close racing, Ashley. What would you say? That is incredibly close. Key players got the worst of it, though. All of them are dads. Well, at least they named the boat while they all had a kid at the key school. So they're all key dads. Freedom and Andy just, they've been bowed about for the last 10 and minutes. And they are really holding on. I'm really impressed. He's just got enough of his nose stuck out so he can hang on. Yes, it's just shy of a beat, so they're just just a tiny bit of reach in this leg. Man, I think That's what's saving him. Give him two inches on the traveler and 
blow Andy out of there. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> Andy's going for the big bite, eh? Oh, he's got a little bow down, a little bit of speed. I, wow. he's got it. Oh, man. Especially since the next turn is the left-hand turn. Wow. I'm getting their money's worth. Back on the inner course, the Harbor 20s have gone around their final, final lured mark, and we'll head to the barn. And back in the 105s, it's still Doghouse's race. That battle is for second. To tack or not to tack. Andy Turner decided to tack, and everyone else is trying to extend this port ley line. Most of the time, if you want to go spectator race, you have to go out to the boats. <laughs> At the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday night races, the boats come to you. All these boats are moored up in the harbor with a great view. Catching up with the Harbor 20s at their, near their finish line, Jim and Rachel Mead are trying to take over single-handed Vallea with H2O out in front, David Morrow. H2O will take it, slight battle for second with stripes of pressure coming through the Spa Creek Bridge. Staying with this, Ashley, it looks close. Too close to call from here. See if we can hear the announcement. Three, two, one, got it by a hair. Maybe even better than being on a spectator boat is standing right outside of a liquor store. <laughs> yeah, AKA the fuel dock. And Doghouse will win for the J105s, the first of the outer course to finish this evening. What a spectacular evening for a Wednesday night race. Thank you to the Boatyard Bar and Grill. From behind the camera, our producer, Bruce Nairn. And we got a guy from the boatyard here. Justin, come here, say hi. Thanks for coming out with us. He works at the boatyard morning, so go visit him. <laughs> Thank you, the Annapolis Yacht Club for TTP TV. I'm Ashley Love. We'll see you next week.